Greetings. Great witch here. Welcome back to Greenhorn Farms. So today we are finishing up a harvest and hopefully by the end of this episode we should have everything that we need for the animals that I plan on buying today. So I plan on getting chickens, sheep, and horses. A few of each. Well, probably a pretty good bit of the chickens and the sheep, but only a couple of the horses. And so we're going to have to make a sale so we can have some money to make sure that we have to also have all the equipment and stuff that we'll need to take care of that. So hopefully... By the end of this episode, we'll have all that stuff taken care of, and it should be pretty cool. So like I said, right now I'm working on a harvest, trying to get this one finished up. Some of it's not ready yet, but get this loaded in, and we can go make a sale. Oh, looks like the sunflowers have also came to harvest, so we'll get rid of those too. So now I'll dump this soybean into the silo, and we'll get this growing. So far, doing pretty good. Building back up a good amount of products so we can have that to sell, make some money. So I spent quite a bit of it when I uh, did the expansion on the farm, so now we should have a good bit of crop built back up and make some money with. Not too much, but there's been a couple of harvests between now and the last video. So if you want to see something that I did do, oh, the camera's acting all weird. Come over here and do it. I did add these new like buildings right here for storing your vehicles. And they're pretty cool. It's a really cool mod. It just came out not too long ago. And there's a good bit of space in between each one. So you could put four vehicles under each one. It'd be a little tight, but you know, maybe a couple vehicles and some equipment. The real cool thing is, is they are lit up bright at night. This thing stands out. You can see everything underneath it. It might be too bright for some of the stuff that you're working on. Because it doesn't really have a soft glow or anything like that, like some of the other equipment does. Because this stands out like it's a, I don't know, like a fast food place or something like that. It's like white LED, brightly lit. I'll have to put a picture in or something in one of the other videos to show you what it looks like at night. But it's pretty cool. So we will head this back out. Set this up for staging. So you can see some of the fields have not gone to gold yet. I got one that's halfway. That's just totally weird. So... Get this one over here. He's working on field 9 right now. Let that finish up. Which is, there's a problem with field 9. We're probably going to sell field 9. It takes a ridiculous amount of time to do anything to it. To harvest, to reseed. Compared to field 10, which is right beside it. Which goes real fast. And it's because of that angly bit. So, probably going to uh, sell field 9. So, while that's doing that. I'm going to get this guy started, another helper started on reseeding the fields. We've already done. Alright. Let's back this up. Nope, that's the harvester. I mean cultivator. You know, I don't think I really need the cultivator anymore. I don't have any fields that I really do because the seeder cultivates when it does that. It seeds, it cultivates, and it fertilizes all at the same time, which is awesome. So... I don't think I really need it. And the only other thing I use it for, well, the only other plant that I grow is soybeans. I mean, sunflowers. Yeah, I'm all confused. It's been a late night. But anyway, so, and when I do sunflowers, I have to plow every time, and I use the subsoiler for that, which also cultivates. So I don't think I'm really going to need that. I might sell that off. Make a little extra money. It's like $60,000 just sitting there. But anyway, take this cedar over here. And get this field started up and going. Unfold this out. This needs to be taken over to the shop and fixed up a little bit. Washed and stuff. It's pretty dirty. But like I was saying, this cultivates, fertilizes, and plants at the same time. And this thing is awesome. It does a pretty good wide path. I believe it's six, millimeter, uh, six meters. So that is a good distance for knocking this out. It works out real well. Alright, so while all the helpers are doing their thing, we're going to sell off one load of whatever I've got the most of and make some money to buy animals. I'm not expecting it to take a lot of money, but you don't know. It might be some kind of weird piece of equipment that I'm going to need to buy or something like that. I'm not sure yet. I really have no idea what I'm getting myself into. So I want to make sure I have extra money so I don't have to stop like I did in the first episode to make more money to continue what I'm doing. So we'll load this up, take over to the silo, 
get it ready. See, I'm probably going to end up selling this too, because I like it a lot, but it is so slow on turning that it is just ridiculous. I can't stand it. And at some of the places that the sell points, it's nearly impossible to get this thing out of because it's just a weird slow arc in trying to turn. All right, so it looks like I have the most of soybeans. We'll take some of that. Get this loaded all the way up. Hopefully I'll make a pretty good chunk of change off this. Won't have to worry about anything. So I'm not expecting the animals to cost too much. I mean, these chickens are like 50 bucks each. Sheep or something, like a thousand or something, I can't remember. And I think horses are the most expensive, but I'm only going to get a couple of those. So I really don't want to spend all the time in horses that apparently that is required for horses. So we'll get all that taken care of. All right, so let's see where we're going to carry this up to. So port southeast. Looks like that's about the place where to go. Okay, so we'll take that over there. Get this all taken care of. See how slow it is? It's just, oh man. Yeah. All right. So let's carry this down here. I'll miss this little truck. As I'm thinking about what I'm thinking about doing is going back to, I can't remember which one it was. I think it's the Tatra or Tetra. I, I've never heard it pronounced, so I don't know how to pronounce it. But uh, it's six by six. It's a little bit more cheaper. It's underneath the Man TGS. What well, comes before that one? And I think I'm going to go to that one because it has the six wheels, so it should be a lot more stable and turns and stuff. I'm not quite really sure, but I'm going to take a chance and I'll buy that later on in another video to get that taken care of. Because this is working right now, but I just want something better. This is more suited to a big wide open map than it is for this map. The roads are really kind of tight and turny, so this will be more suited for a wide open American map or something like that, I guess. This is too big for this one. Alright. Go through here. What? This is not the proper way to go through a roundabout? <laughs> I hate those things. Alright. Let's pop out of that. That way I can see when I make this turn. This turn can be a bit tricky in this vehicle right here. So, once again, my phone rang at the exact point in the video where it rang last time. Now my phone is sitting in the other room with no battery in it. If it rings now, I have more problems to worry about than phones ringing during videos because my house is full of ghosts. All right, so let's see how much money we're gonna make off this. It's not too bad, it's climbing up there pretty quick. Over 200,000, that's pretty good, pretty good. That should work out quite well. 138,000, not too shabby. All right, so let's head back. All right, so when I got back, I noticed that my guys were all finished up, so I'm gonna get them staged up over here. There's still some area that has not gone gold on my fields, so I'm just gonna set them over here and wait, and then we'll come back when that gets ready. It's kind of bumming me out how this one side is just half gold and half not. But I think I've already convinced myself that I'm gonna sell field nine. So, that's probably going to happen later on. Maybe not this episode. Just run over here and jump in this thing. You ever just run top speed for no reason at all? Well, for a reason, but just take off top speed. I did it one time. It almost killed me. Well, actually, it did kill me, kind of. I was playing paintball, and we were doing a D-Day Normandy kind of all-day event deal. And they had the beginning things, like just like at the beginning of Private Ryan, where they let you out of the little things that the front slam down, and you go running onto the beach. Kind of the same principle. And I was inside of it, and as soon as they opened it up and set, started the game, I took off running like I was on fire. And I ran like 50 yards, top speed, fully loaded down, gear, everything. So by the time I get over to the trenches, I'm on all fours, just gasping for breath. <laughs> and the ref sees me because I do something that you're not supposed to do in paintball ever. And that's I took off my mask so I could catch my breath. And the second I did that, the ref was right on top of me. Why did you take your mask off? And I was like, I can't breathe. He's like, do you need medical attention? I'm like, no. He's like, well then put your damn mask back on. So as soon as I put my mask on and stood up, I got shot three times in the face. So that was pretty awesome. And it was a blue paintball too. Went right through the mouth hole, filled up the whole inside of my mask. It was a great time, it was awesome. So that's my 
that was fun. All right, so let's unload these soybeans. That's pretty good. I like how fast it unloads. By the time it's already up to the top, it's pretty much done. So that's pretty cool. We'll get this out of the way. Take this back over. Set it up. All right, so then we got all that set up and ready. We'll come over here and get these animals started. So as you can see, I did finally find a shed. It was in the mod menu, red corrugated shed, pretty cool. What I'm gonna do is, uh, right now I'm just storing stuff in it, but later on there will be uh, straw and hay that goes in there. So let's look at these chickens. We got three types, white, black, brown, and a rooster. Since roosters don't produce eggs, I am not buying one. Don't need it. Uh, let's go with brown chickens, because brown chickens make chocolate eggs. That's right, right? Isn't that like how it goes? And brown cows make chocolate milk? Pretty sure that's how it works. Well, that's how you get all that stuff around Easter, isn't it? Brown chickens? I have no idea. But, alright. So I'm thinking we're going to get like 50 of these. Because that shouldn't be too much. They're only 50 bucks a piece. So, let's start off with 50. See what that gets us. How much of a mess they make. And all that craziness, and then we'll, you know, determine later on if I want to get more. So this might be a whole bunch that I need, don't need. It might make, produce what I want. I don't know. We'll have to see. So twenty five hundred dollars. Yep. Whatever the delivery fee is worth it, because you couldn't carry fifty chickens in your car. You'd be crazy. All right. <laughs> Look at all them chickens. That's awesome. I got myself some chickens. Super duper. Doesn't look like there's 50 of them in there, though. I don't know. Alright, so let's see what Gilderoy has to say on the subject of care and feeding of chickens. Alright, come down here. Where's it at? Cows. Manure. Sheep. Chickens. There we are. They food is wheat. They produce eggs. Pallets of eggs will appear next to the chicken pen, and you can move these pallets by hand. Put them in your pickup and sell them at a selling point. Oh, cool. Now I have a reason to buy a pickup truck. I didn't have one before. But we don't have time for that right now. Right now we need to buy a trailer. Because somehow I'm going to need to get wheat from my silo over here. And I guess right now I'm going to use a little trailer. Because I don't really know how much it's going to need. I don't want to do it bucket by bucket that far away. So let's just do one trailer. Load and see what happens. Yeah, I'm just going to buy this instead of leasing it. I'm probably going to need it for other stuff. Might as well have it. I need a little trailer anyway. All right, let's go pick it up. I don't know why I didn't drive over here. I must like running. Forrest Gump or something. No, I was running. I don't know. It's kind of weird. So let's jump in here, head to the store, get our new trailer. And we can load that up with some wheat and feed these chickens. The cool thing about chickens is you don't need water. They just need wheat, so... That's pretty cool. Might get a couple more pins on another map. Let's start this up on the game on another thing. But that's for later. So we're gonna have to buy some more stuff. I can see. Cause I'm probably gonna have to buy a water tank. Oh, see that truck right there? I want that truck. And the reason I want it is because we can't get it. It's just like GTA Online. I want the slam van from the Lost that you can't get. I still want that vehicle. I always want the vehicle, one vehicle in the main game that you can't get. It's crazy. Alright. So let's load this up. There we go. Got us a little trailer. And this can hold quite a bit later on if I wanted to add some other stuff to it. So that's cool. I don't know what I would use it for, but... I have used it for moving wood. But now that we have that new bio belts mod, you don't even have to deal with that. You can just run over trees and just take them completely out. Because that's what I used to clear out that one path out behind the farm. Which I'll probably have to do a video on that showing how to do that. Because that was pretty cool. You don't make any money using it, but it does help out fast. Alright, so let's load this up with some wheat. Let's have to do this again. Probably for the sheep and the chick uh, horses. Not quite sure yet. I think the sheep only eat grass. I will check Gilderoy in just a minute. Find out all about all that. 
Alright, that is way, probably way too much. But then again, I don't know. I don't know how much chickens eat. Usually just see somebody walking out there with like a bucket just throwing chicken that, you know, feed. Just like, here chicken. But they could be ravenous. They could eat 2,000 liters a day. I have no idea. I know nothing about chickens. Except that they lay eggs. And everybody's always concerned about them crossing roads and stuff like that. Alright, so let's put this Doesn't go there. It must go, yep, right over here where this little side is. I wonder how you load this. Huh, just like that. Just pull up. That's cool. That's real easy. Dig that. Then I was going to have to back up to this thing. Well, it looks like 2,500 liters that they took. That's a pretty good bit. Well, it's just the first initial fill. They're probably not going to take that much every time. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. So we got them fed. I'll take this over and dump it back in the silo so it's just not sitting here. If I can make this turn without wrecking. Cool. Chickens are fed. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to put another silo in. Maybe that put one over here on this side just for the food stock to feed the animals and then keep all my plant. I mean, all my stock over here that I sell in these silos. I'll have to think about that. I might do that just to make this trip a little bit easier and just to keep the, the, the separation of it so I don't accidentally sell something I need to feed the animal. So I get in a spending spree, I might do that. All right, so let's put this over here. See what we need to do for the sheep. We'll do those next. Save the horses for last. Ah, this looks like a good place right here. Just park that ah, right under the yonder shade tree. Put this up. Let's go see. All right, let's check on the chickens. Let's see what's going on. It looks like everything's doing pretty good. Cleanliness, it's good. Wheat, bar oh, so you can feed them barley too? Why didn't you tell me that in the other part? That would have been information that I needed to know. See, this is after the fact information. I need information at the beginning. That's crazy. I love how they do that. You are not. You can't give me extra information later on. I need all of it at the beginning so I can make a, a good choice. And, I don't know, it's ridiculous. But everything else looks pretty good. So, pretty cool. I think I'm going to get more. I probably will. Probably bring it up to 100. So I think I'm going to have 400 in this pen. Parkour! Alright. So I got 50 brown chickens. Oh, I didn't even see these. you got to watch out for the shadow chickens. They hide. They're sneaky. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool layout. Groovy. Make eggs and make me money. Now let's check out the sheep. Let's see what they got to say about it first. All right, they eat grass and hay, produce wool. Reproduction speed is fast, and in order to sell the wool, you have to grab the pallet and the sheep. You ain't got to use the pallet fork. Oh, I hate using the pallet fork. Why couldn't I pick these up by hand? This is stupid. I probably sell these sheep off because I hate doing this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, let's buy these sheep. Oh, that's cute. So you got four different types of sheep. And I think I'm going to buy a few of each one. Let's start off and get a bunch of these, though. These are my favorite looking ones. Get 10 of these. I'll probably do 25 sheep to start off. Because I'm not quite sure how many, how much of a nuisance it's going to be to deal with this and do with crops, too. So hopefully this doesn't take too much time away. Get another 10 of these. Then I'll mix it up with a couple of brown ones and a couple of black ones. Cool. There we go. $2,500 to deliver. Yeah, you couldn't put 50 sheep in a car, so that's awesome. 25 sheep. Yeah. Alright, cool. Let's go check them out. See what they look like. See what's going on. That's pretty groovy. I don't like sheep in real life. They're nasty. It's, you know, horrible creatures. I don't know. 
it's just me. I have a bad experience from being on a farm. <laughs> when I was a kid, I got chased by some sheep. It was horrible. Terrifying. Very traumatic. Actually, it wasn't. It wasn't anything. All right, so let's get these animals fed. So right now, we're going to need water, grass, and hay. That's simple. I don't have to grow anything but grass for them. I can't make the hay right now because I'm going to need to mow, and I'm probably going to have to buy a tether, I believe, to flip to make hay. So first, let's buy a water tank. That looks pretty cool. Cool, we'll get that. Okay. No sense in leasing it, because we're going to need it all the time. Jump in the old wagon and head down to the store and pick this up. Now, I do believe I can fill this up for free in this pond that's right here on the edge of my property. Hopefully that'll be working. Because I don't want to have to put in a water tank, too. I've already got a silo coming. And with these sheep having hay and grass, I'm probably going to have to put in a hay loft. So I'm sure the horses are going to need the same thing too, so I'm going to need to store a whole bunch of stuff like that. And so that's already over $200,000 of money I don't have that I'm going to have to earn. So it's getting up there. But there's my water tank. It looked bigger in the picture. <laughs> that's what she said. But yeah, it did look bigger in the picture. Hopefully this will hold something. So it said 7,300 liters, but. How much water do sheep drink? I have no idea. They could go through this in an hour, for all I know. But we'll take this back. Well, first we gotta fill it. Come right over here to this little pond. I think all I have to do is back it up to it. Hopefully. So I have no idea. We'll turn down here. Oh, that looks pretty sketchy. Well, there's no boat landing or anything like that. This is a worthless little pond. Got a boat, but no boat landing. I'll come over here and go to this little side where it seems like it's not as steep. I know, I just don't want to roll back into the water in my tractor while I'm trying to load this. See if I can get this thing in there. I don't know how deep it's got to go. I'm just going to keep spamming the button until it starts loading. Hopefully, I don't drive in there. Oh, there it goes. Huh. That's pretty cool. I barely got one toe in the water. Look at that. Hmm. That's not too bad. That's actually pretty cool. I was scared I was going to have to get that thing at least halfway underwater or something like that. I wouldn't be able to get it out or some craziness. But it worked out quite well. So it looks like I'm going to have to do a little bit of landscaping over here and bring this road down. Maybe get rid of that tree. Make this a little bit more accessible. But cool beans. We can now got water. We can feed, uh, water the sheep. And then we'll get on to feeding them. That's a good start. And we'll also need this for the horses too, so I really needed to have it, so good thing I do. Alright, let's see where the water goes in this thing. Let's go right here. Nope. Nothing. Unless you gotta do something different. You probably have to back up. Let me try this one. Nope, that's it right there. It's just like the other one. You just pull right up into the little spot and dump. Rock on. That's filling that up. That's taking quite a bit of water. Sheep are thirsty. That's cool though. That's filled up. Now, we'll park this. Man, I gotta check the mod menu to see if we have any fences in yet. Pretty sure there was. I saw something. I don't remember what it was though. So I was just so busy looking through there because I need to get something up before I drive over that edge. This is going to happen. If I don't put a fence up, I'll go right over it. I'll just be like, la dee da, and right into that other field. So, so I've done that in Red Dead Online with my horse a few times. Just go riding right off cliffs. Poor horse. Alright, so now 
I need to go get some hay. So I'm going to go, or grass bales, which I made a couple days ago in anticipation of doing this because I didn't know if I was going to need them or not. So I figured I'd go ahead while I was mowing and make some grass bales. So come over here and we'll grab the bale loader and grab, I guess, a full stack because, like I said, I don't know how much these sheep are going to eat. So they might go through this full stack in a day or two. It's best to have it over there and not have to do a bunch of trips. All right. I love this square, bar square bale loader. It is so much easier using the square bales than the round ones. Because I started off doing the round ones, and every time you'd drop one, it would just roll off, and I was having to hunt them down. It was annoying to the max. This takes longer to do square bales, but it's totally worth it to me. The, the drawbacks are way worth not having to hunt them down. It's just... I, I can't believe I started out doing... Well, I think it was because the round ones were cheaper to start off with, but... Until some better equipment comes in. Oh, it looks like my fields have gone gold. Cool, I'll have to get those started back up after I get this going. This field's finished harvest. Alright, so I guarantee you 10 to 1, as soon as I pull up to this and try to grab this first bale, this thing's going to jenga and be all over the place. So if it does, be warned, it already ha I knew it was going to happen. Because usually after the first and second bale, this thing just goes nuts and falls over. And it looks like it's going to make a liar out of me. Oh, there it goes. Nope. Nothing. Oh, okay. So this time, it's going to just be perfect. It'll probably be the second bale behind it that falls. But the one thing that's crazy is look how much the other bale is moving. The other stack that's beside this one. It's like it's in a cat fort. Hurricane or something. It's just moving around in an earthquake style. That's insane. All right, so I loaded up that whole side without incident. Let's see if I can get this next one. It must be just because y'all are watching. It knows it's on camera. That's why it's being on its best behavior. Because like I said, normally I'll come up and grab these, and it just dumps them everywhere. Stack falls over. i got to back up and move around and pick them all up. Kind of a mess, but I prefer doing it this way. I might have to start recording it every time just so it'll behave and act like this. Almost got it completely loaded. And the thing I like about this is not only does it load them, it stacks them neatly. So if you have to, if you do like I do and store them before you sell them, this thing works great. So now I'll take this over to the other field. Get into feeding these sheep. Bitch, you are about to witness something you've probably never seen in your life. And that is person with the least amount of skills using a front loader. Okay. Take a shortcut through the woods. Yeah, I used the bio belts thing mod to clear that path out. It works really good. You don't even have to get out to cut down most trees. You can just run right over them. Knocks them down and just mow it completely up. You don't make any money off of them because it just completely destroys the trees, but like I said, it's fast. Alright, I guess I'm going to put these underneath the... I don't really have a spot for them, so I'm going to put them over there underneath the shade tree. It seems to be the most common area right here. Back this up carefully. put this into a nice stack because that's going to be the last time it's going to be in one over here. Because I guarantee you I knocked this stack over using the front loader. It's just, it's inevitable. When you see, you're going to be like, oh, I understand everything you're talking about now. Yeah, you suck at this because I do. Oh my God, do I suck at the front end loader. All right, so let's go put this up. Get this out of the way. Let me come back over here and start up this craziness. Don't want to have anything more in the area than I need. Alright. Got the other trailer out, so I'm going to make sure I leave room for that. I 
Okay, so I'm going to go get those other guys started up on this other field. All right, so we got that going, and now we can come back over here and do this with the front loader. With these sheep, some grass to eat. And see, the bad thing about this is I have actually used this piece of equipment in real life. I know how to use it. I have done stuff with it. I know the ins and outs of this piece of equipment. And for some reason, when I use it in this game, it's like I'm possessed by the devil. The second I try to use this thing, it goes the opposite ways. And I think it's because I know how to use it in real life. It's kind of like playing Guitar Hero for somebody who knows how to play guitar. It just doesn't work. Because that was the struggle I had with the guitar player. Is I play guitar, so I couldn't do it. Alright, let's see. Nope. Look at that. It's not going to stab. Oh, it's going to knock it over. Back up, back up. Help me, Jesus. Come on. The devil's trying to get in there. Alright. Go down a little bit lower. Straighten the fork out. You know how to do this. Now just slowly move forward. That is not slowly moving forward. That is just... That is... That's the devil right there. I'm telling you. Alright, so we move down. Right here. Just grab a couple of these at a time. Hopefully I can carry all three of these. So you can easily pick it up. And no, that's not easy. That's throwing stuff crazy. I'm telling you. I need to just sit down for an entire day and just play with this thing and just practice. Just picking stuff up and putting it down. I'm surprised the hay hasn't burst into flames by it. Oh, it's almost fell off. And see, the thing is, I can use the forklift perfectly in this game. The forklift is no problem. It's just on the front of the tractor like this that it's an issue. Oh, it picked that thing right up. That's cool. Is that all it needs? I don't know. Let me let me put this one down and see first. That can't be all the hay that they or grass that they eat. Peel this off. Okay. I have to check that to see if they need more, because that's two. And they probably will need another couple for the event, the, just the starting off part. But we'll save that for later. I want to get into these horses real quick. Get them bought and get started. So let's run over here. So I think where you get the horses from is in the back. So I don't have an animal transport, and I'm not doing all that craziness anyways. Alright, horse, gray. Yes, we're going to buy that one, because of course. And I think that one's going to be my main horse. I'm not going to sell that. I'm going to work him out, but I'm going to keep him. And I'm just going to get another horse to keep him company. And then I'll just rotate through those and sell those off as I get them. You know, up to full things. What you have to do is you have to ride them every day and train them. And that's what makes the horses worth more money. Because they don't produce anything. So I think I'm gonna go with that one. Those two right there, that looks pretty cool. Let's check it out, see what I got. Parkour! Right. Cool, there's some horses. That's awesome. Oh, he likes me. All right, so let's see what Gilderoy has to say. It says that I need some more food in the sheep pen, so when I get out of here, I'll do that. But first, I wanna rename these horses. And Oliver is not a good name for a horse delete that. We're going to go with Gunpowder, because that's a great name for a horse. Oh, there we go, right there. And that's going to be my personal horse. Gunpowder. Neptune. That's a good name for a horse, but it's not a good name for my horse. Brimstone. That's what I'm going to go with on this one. There. Cool. So I got the horses named. Now all I gotta do is take a bale of hay and take it over there and throw it in the sheet. But they need water, straw, oats, and hay. Can't do the hay yet, but I can get the water, the straw, and the oats done. Yeah. Have to do the hay in another video because I'm gonna have to do a bunch of mowing, and I just did that, so it's not ready for that yet. So that's pretty good. Water, straw, oat, and hay. Alright, so let's get this started up. I tried to jump that. Didn't quite do it. Right, my jump plug's working. It's just me. Alright. So. I'm going to need the trailer first. Um, I think I'm going to put this front loader up. Oh no. Hmm. 
All right, well, first let's get this hay put in the sheep thing. Take care of that before I try to do anything else. I keep saying, hey, it's grass bales that I'm talking about. I'm just used to everything being a hay bale when I was a kid. Yeah, it's a hay bale. I didn't know the difference, you know. All right, so we'll put this over here. These guys will be all good, and then I can... Uh, I wonder why I didn't take it that time. Go on, take it. Oh, I got it in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be on the front of the little metal thing. Let's move this over here. There, it's supposed to be right there. Wait, there's no grass in that. I thought I just put... I'm at the wrong pins. I'm at the horse pen. I'm supposed to be at the sheep pen. No wonder, I am a moron. See kids, this is why you don't do drugs. Because the brain cells you're killing, they're not the ones you need right now. It's the ones you need when you're later. So remember that. This has been a public service announcement of Great Witch Gaming. Alright, so now let's put this down. Perfect. Okay, so now the sheep are completely fed. And quit messing around. And get these horses taken care of. So let's put this in here and get away from it. Just in case it causes any other possession or any other things. Alright. Okay. Not allowed in this state. Yeah. Lower it a little bit more. It'll be fine. This thing's as needy as my ex-girlfriend. Alright. Grab the trailer. Go load this up with oats. Because they're horses. I'm figuring now. I'm imagining horses go through a lot of food. I mean, I'm sure two horses don't, but I'm, you know, they're, I'm sure I'm hungry as a horse. It's, there's a reason for that. It's because they go through a lot of food, I'm imagining. So we'll fill this up, take it over. We're probably going to take a few of these. Feeding the sheep is any indication. Am I close enough? Nope. There we are. We are laying oats. All right. So 4,000 liters. That, that should be. I don't know. I have no idea. I keep saying it should be, but it, it's never what I say it should be. It's always something completely different, so I'm just going to shut up and just do what it need to do. Quit trying to second guess myself. Alright. Now this should be, I guess, right here in the front, the same as the other one. Nope. That one's for the water. So the food one's going to be over here in the corner where I planted all these trees and made it more difficult for me to get around. Good job. I don't think it goes here either. Oh, there it goes. I just hadn't wasn't on it good enough. And I'm all up in the bushes. All right. Yep, I took that whole 4,000 without even trying. So I'm going to have to... Why did it turn... Oh, because it's a combination of food. I was like, I put brown in there and it turned green. That's also because they get hay. Or, yeah, hay or something. Alright, so let's grab another trailer of that. I'm going to have to make another road through there. Not now, but eventually. I'll do that when I do the landscaping for the water area. Save it all up for one time. Hopefully not get everything crazy. Oh, my helper's got a full grain of tank, so I'm going to have to... Alright, so I got them all loaded back up and ready to go and all that. I got the horses fed. And then I tried to do something with some hay. I went and got some straw bales. Because I thought you could use straw and just drop it in there and just like and be fine. But no, apparently it doesn't want bales because you have to have a shredder for that. And I'm not buying a shredder because I don't need one. So I'm going to buy this loading wagon, which is pretty much what I am going to need anyway. So I'm going to grab this. And then I'm going to have to go get the harvester after he's finished with the field and do this wheat field, collect the swath, and then I'll have stuff that I can put down for straw. But I got the horses fed and watered. And then I just, oh, look at this. This is... Normally I can push one of these bales all the way across the map. And then while I'm trying to do it on camera, it just it goes all weird. And yeah, because you could see there was some haphazard bale loading. It was, it was a nightmare. I'm glad I didn't continue with it. So I'm going to get this loading wagon and continue on that way.
we're gonna get here and get all this get this loading wagon loaded up and get going good so this should be pretty well oh, madman driving right over the side of the grass see there's another bale we're not going to talk about those bales anymore but yeah it was a nightmare especially trying to use the front loader trying to load that thing oh yeah i said i wasn't going to talk about it anymore and i go right back into talking about it all right from now on we're not going to talk about it anymore but this thing's pretty cool actually kind of looks like a caravan i spent a summer in one time it's about the same insulating factors <laughs> and the roof is about the same too because it leaked like a sieve but this should work pretty good it's basically like a big vacuum cleaner from what I understand and this will suck up all the swath and then I can use this to store it until I get the hay loft and then I can use this to load the straw into the horse pen so park this right now and now we gotta go get so I got this and I had to turn on the help menu because I couldn't remember which button it was to turn enable the straw swath. So once this gets started, I'll figure that out. Alright. So it's right on the D-pad. R1, right on the D-pad. L1, something. Alright, I got it. Alright, cool. There we go. So then I can come pick that up with the thing. So I'll just go ahead and do this and then fast forward through it or something. I'm not sure. Alright this it's pretty simple basic crank up and all that now we'll pick up all this stuff that's on this field now I imagine this should pick all this up but then again the way that this game is it'll probably just do half of a one thing and then it'll be full so it does look like it's getting pretty full pretty quick I'm definitely going to have to get a hay loft if I'm going to be storing this because I just can't leave this in here. Especially if I need to use it for other things and I don't want to just dump it on the ground. So, definitely looking at about another $200,000, maybe more money I'm going to have to make to get this other stuff I'm going to need. This is actually holding a lot more than I thought it was going to. I didn't think it would make it this far. I figured one row of this would fill it up. That's pretty good. It holds up a pretty good bit of mile. I think it's 23,000 liters. But I figured there was more on the ground than there is. It looks like I'm getting close. I might just make it a little bit further into this one. I have no place to store this stuff right now. Except for inside this thing. Alright. So let's take this up here. Get this in the horse pen. And we should be pretty good. And I think this is about right where I'm going to close this video off. Because I'm going to need to do a bunch of mowing. And I want to do that in a separate video for the hay. So we'll do that. I'm going to end right here. And we'll pick this back up right after this on the next video. Alright, this is Grey Witch. I hope this video was fun for you as it was for me. And I'll see you next time. Peace!